Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you could play a song called The Pressure. And we end up cabling this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording. We're going through a couple things in root position. And we're going to start off with, with kind of some of those ambient licks actually at the very beginning. You may want to kind of play an open A. And then kind of work a 4th fret on the G string, slide the 2nd fret. And you can almost kind of keep that idea going. Kind of 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. And the trick really is just to keep enough pressure on in, going into the guitar carry the sound between those notes, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, and then we can kind of shift strings and do almost that same idea by playing the open D, and then going 5th fret on the B string as a slide to 3rd fret. So I got kind of open A, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, open A, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, open D, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, open D. Be kind of a cool interlude, and the chords that would back that up would start on an A minor chord. And normally, you do that first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G string second fret. And if you strum all those together, oh, the sad sounds of A minor. Now, you may also dig on lifting off the first finger and making that an A sus two, where you could add in the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended, kind of say some stuff around the A minor, or you may dig on lifting off the third finger and making an A minor seven. Or you could kind of add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor 7. Or you may even dig on an A7 seven kind of sound. Doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third would be another option too. And then from the A minor we'd be going to a D minor chord. And normally do that first finger on the high E first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string or the high E string, it sounds a D minor chord. It sounds so sad. Now you may also dig on lifting off the first finger and make that a D sus two, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended and kind of say some stuff around the D minor, or you may even kind of dig on working that A seven sus change to kind of using just the first finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third for the D sus. It sounds slightly more unresolved that way, but that might be kind of a cool option sound wise. And there's a couple different ways you could kind of strum through the tune actually. It could work kind of a down count idea. Kind of an A minor, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A minor, D minor. And I'm adding a little bit of right hand muting to that with the right hand kind of laying the flat of the right hand on top of the, the, uh, the strings near the saddle. Kind of making, kind of taking that flat. Kind of making it a little sneaky that way. So you can kind of dig on that. Or you may want to use a strum pattern. <laughs> And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide it into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteen note strum patterns is a down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you tape A minor, you do it down for four. Kind of like one, two, three, four, one, two. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So kind of one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down.
later on in the song, where you can kind of start with the A minor, you kind of lift the first finger, kind of the A sus2 idea, and you can work open A, second on the D, which you're already kind of holding down, second on the G, and then open B to first fret on the B, and then kind of going back to the D, and then G, and then open B again, and then back to first fret on the B. So kind of that O two two O one two two O one is kind of a cool lick that kind of comes out later around the A minor chord, and there's kind of a similar lick around the D minor. I mean, you can kind of start with the D minor without the first finger, kind of a D sus two idea, and kind of go D string G string B string high E string, and then add first fret on the high E, and then back to G and the B, and then back to open E, and then back to first fret on the high E. Licks later on. Kind of A, B, A, B, C, E, A, B, C, A, E, A, B, C, E, A, B, C, or the D, A, D, E, F, D, A, D, E, F, D, A, D, E, F, A, D, E, F. Might be cool licks to work, and, and that would take a little bit of practice to kind of get that up to tip over. Kind of experiment with alternate picking or even trying this finger style actually. If you kind of lost the pick for a second, you could, may want to use your thumb for the basses on the A string and kind of line up your index middle ring finger for the D, G, and B. And that way, every finger's got a job to do. So you kind of have thumb, index, middle, ring, ring, index, middle, ring, ring might be a cool idea. Or you can even kind of work that same idea for the E string, G string, B string, E string by kind of shifting up the string. So you may want to kind of experiment with that. It's one of those licks where it's like, oh man, that really lined up really well with, with, with kind of a finger style idea. But you could also kind of work at picking, and a lot of times you try alternate picking, kind of a down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, might be kind of a cool way to do it. Kind of work at some alternate picking. So you want to kind of experiment. Now the weird part is, to play along with the recording, instead of starting on an A minor chord, they're starting on a C sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 4th fret, then now your A minor is really a C sharp minor, and your D minor is really an F sharp minor. So you could kind of start off with just those intro licks, kind of that O, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, open, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, four, two open. You may want to kind of use those licks to kind of turn up later in the tune around the A minor and the D minor. Could be a cool way to intro the tune too, especially if you're playing it out. And then from there, actually, we just kind of be going between those chords. You could do that any of those strumming ways we were talked about. So you could kind of try that eight down idea on the A minor. on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw a bass note in for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass, and on the D minor, you have the D for the bass. So you can kind of try just that bass down, up, up, down, up on each chord. A minor bass, A minor bass, down, up, down, up, Or you can even kind of try adding Tracking notes around the chords. Kind of say some stuff around it. It'd be a cool concept to play around with. Kind of cool experiment with that. Or if you're digging on the 16s, 
16th, you could add basses to that. And you can make it a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or a bass, bass, down. of how you can strum through the pressure. So, good luck. Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land. This is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So thanks so much for all the love that you give me and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So. Best of luck, and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. I, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section, and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So, best of luck to you wherever you are.